Hey guys, Jeremiah over at Ride On again. We're back here with another Ride On University. Uh, this one's going to be a fun one. It's a shooter spotter dialogue. We're going to do kind of an intro to that. We brought with us uh, Spencer here. He's a Ride On employee. Uh, specific reason why we bought him. Why don't you tell him why? So my, a little bit about my background is I was with a Marine Scout Sniper Platoon as a professionally instructed gunman and rifleman. Um, so I'm excited to be here. Thanks for yeah. having me. Yeah, thanks. This will be fun. This will be a good intro for you guys to know how to communicate with your spotter or shooter out on the range. So let's get down on the gun and get this thing going, man. Sweet. All right, guys. So here we are. We've got Spencer down in a prone position. Uh, as a spotter, I'm set up. At, he's a right-hand shooter. I'm going to be right over his right shoulder. Um, you don't want to be looking at, at impacts at an angle because they will appear to be different than they are. So I set up. Uh, low and tight, uh, right behind his right shoulder here. Uh, my responsibilities as a spotter are going to be to identify targets, which means, hey, Spencer, you know, 11 o'clock um, down this road is a 24-inch target. It's white. It's got two posts that hold it up so that we're on the, the same page. Uh, I'm going to range the target. I'm going to do the math. So I would say, hey, Spencer, on our target, uh, how many mils are you reading on that target? And I'll say, all right, your come-ups on this one, you need to dial... 3.2 uh, mils on this one. We're about 550 yards out. Uh, at this point, I'm going to go ahead and say, uh, are you good? You feel good? And, I'll, and if, if I see that he's a little canted or a little cockeyed or something, uh, it's my job too to let him know, hey, you need to slide over to the right a little bit. You're not right behind the rifle. Uh, I'll say, okay, good. I'm going to do a wind call. So I'll say, hey, we got a, a left to right wind going out there about five miles an hour. So I'll say about a, a two mil uh, left hold, and he's gonna say that he's on target. And when he says, go ahead and say it for me, Spence. On target. All right, and so am I. So I'll say, send it. Boom, he's gonna send a shot off. The first thing he's gonna do is say what? So I'm gonna be calling where I broke on the shot to let my spotter know exactly what that trigger pull felt like. If I know that I pulled the shot, I'm gonna relay that information so he doesn't freak out when he sees it all over the place. <laughs> Right, and again, this is just uh, the, the least amount of communication to get the most info. So he'll say, let's just say in this case, he's like, felt good, shot felt good. Uh, my job again is to spot that impact uh, and say, man, if you don't spot an impact, you can't make adjustments. If you don't know where you're hitting, you're just shooting lead off into the distance. So I'm going to say, all right, you were about, and I, I, I like to use the clock. You know, say you were one o'clock, two o'clock, three o'clock. So if I was like, you were about two inches from center, three o'clock, um, and I'll give him another hold adjustment. And he's gonna send that one. Boom, Spencer's a good shot. So I know that one's gonna be an impact. And that, that's the rough dialogue. Guys, we're gonna go out to the range. Uh, we're gonna do this with a spot and scope and Spencer shooting. We're gonna kind of go over the next steps in this to really tighten it up. But this is a basic shooter spotter dialogue so that you guys can communicate better out there on the range. So. Any other questions or comments, reach out to us, man. Thanks.